Right now, the Central Texas Red Cross is putting the final touches on its response plan for Hurricane Beryl. And believe it or not, this plan could involve you. You still have time to volunteer to help. Based on what they've seen Hurricane Beryl do in Mexico and across the Caribbean, the American Red Cross is expecting widespread need of their services across Texas after the hurricane makes landfall here. We all know that Hurricane Beryl is coming, so our hope is just to, you know, get ahead of the game. And we already have over 350 volunteers stationed in San Antonio right now getting ready for Hurricane Beryl. Today, the Central Texas Red Cross office was busy training their newest volunteers and recruiting even more. They'll need people, a lot of people to help feed and shelter the storm victims and to help them just process what's happened. When somebody goes through a disaster, it could probably be one of the worst days of their lives. So we have volunteers to be able to give them that mental health support that they need. Now, not all of the Red Cross volunteers are new. Ken Armstrong has volunteered for decades, the last 10 years here in Austin. But I've also been on other deployments and other situations with the American Red Cross from Louisiana across Texas. Uh, I was at Katrina uh, many years ago. Armstrong says any amount of time someone can offer the Red Cross will be greatly appreciated. So it's what you have that you're able to volunteer with us. You're not judged. If you can only give us four or five hours a week, we'll work with you, train you. Uh, it doesn't matter. If you do want to help, the Red Cross does have a couple of volunteer sign-up events on Sunday. One here in Austin, another in Georgetown. I've got the details posted with this story on CBSAustin.com. Fred Cantu, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.